Hey everybody, uh, Joe Haygood here from ggsgamer.com, back with another exciting episode, well, maybe not as exciting as, as it has been, uh, exciting episode of uh, GGS Gamer Plays, XCOM Enemy Within, I believe now we are on part 6. Yeah, yeah, I'm confident with that. If I'm wrong, well, you know, that happens on occasion. It's late at night, tomorrow's Friday, and I'm looking forward to the weekend, so. Give me a break if I get that one wrong, but I'm pretty sure we're on episode 6. Uh, and yesterday we had a couple, uh, in yesterday's playthrough, you saw we made our first big critical mistake. Um, normally I don't do a lot of, well, I'm going to say normally I don't do a lot of reloading. Um. Normally, I like to live with the options I have, but uh, as you saw, we had a mission where we made some big mistakes. Um, and even after we did the reload, we still lost one very important soldier, but these things do happen. Uh, so today, we're ready to, to start off fresh. Clear head, new ideas. <clears throat> we just had our beginning of the month uh, report a few days back. Um, let's see. Let's see what we have here on the schedule. So we have experimental warfare. We have a satellite coming up, which we desperately are going to need. If you remember our situation yesterday. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of ink on the board there. <clears throat> so uh, let's get into it. We're waiting for a ship. Quest for gas grenades. Uh, well, let's see. I'm sure we got the money to build gas grenades. It's nice and quick. Let's go back. Pending request. That wasn't too bad. Made a, made a little profit on that one. So, hey. That's the thing. When those requests come in, sometimes it's worth it. Uh, it's not like the old one where you could just... Uh, there got to a point where you could... I used to manufacture and sell plasma rifles. And you... Because you could always sell items, it was a great way to make money. Because the plasma rifle would cost you... Like hundred dollars a time, but you could sell it for five hundred dollars. So you could literally, on your downtime, when you had nothing happening between research or, or or having to manufacture stuff, just had a business where you were pumping out plasma rifles to some mysterious organization out there that was looking to, you know, Contact. some sort of militia. <laughs> All right, let's uh. Um, yeah, I could send this one. That'd be all right. Yeah, I gotta get used to the idea of not having a... to uh, have a, a support putting Tony back on the battlefield <clears throat> so only thing that we really need to do is we need to capture the an outsider alien and what that allows us to do is unlock I believe once we do that and we unlock this we outsider the mission, we research Setting the key down. and then that allows us to get into the alien base listen up 
We're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. Reports indicate the UFO is set down in a sparsely populated area. We need to stay sharp and eliminate the invaders. Severed Sentinel. That just doesn't sound good at all from the start. Strike one, you are green to deploy. Approach with extreme caution. Current enemy status at the site is unknown. In Bewegung. Verstanden. Ich hab alles im Blick. Will do. I'm on the move. Overwatch. Aye, aye. Got it covered. On Overwatch. Come on, man, Tony. Aye, aye, Commander. Count gets up. You think? I would have thought that was painfully obvious. Exactly what's happening there. You know, I'm trying to get a gauge on where the enemy might be, judging by the uh, radar waves. But it's not really coming up all that clear right now, is it? <sighs> so far, I haven't gotten anything. Commander. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Move 
Moving to position. Moving to Overwatch. I don't think we're alone out here. I don't think you're necessarily wrong, dude. So greedy. Location confirmed. Go loud. Good shot. Bad shot. Good. See, you're seeing a man that got greedy for that meld. Oh, crap. get that mount. Got him flanked.
Booyah! Come on, let's see if you can make a three for three, Foreman. Nope. Oh, let me guess. I don't know... Moving. 
I'm not quite sure. It's killing time. Position confirmed. Well, I'm trying to figure out. That's affirmative. I think Tony's gonna end up dead because I can't. I can't pick up his equipment. He's got the health pack. How could you miss? And again, how could I miss? There we go, I'll make up for it. I got a target right next to Foreman, and he, Foreman had the high ground on him and couldn't kill him. Well, that was Tony. Man. That got tense, didn't it? I still lost a guy. At the end of it all, I still ended up losing. A very important unit. Roger that. Scanning. Man, that sucks more than a little Solid bit. Copy, Commander. And I lost the only guy with the med pack. Again, coming home from this one with some sort of injury or wound. What was that? I've got oh. Come on, Foreman, hit it, hit it, hit it. Yes, good job. Scared. Orders 
I'm rolling. I feel, Commander. I'm on it, Commander. Roger. I've got my eyes on you. What was that for a noise? That looks like the primary power source for the alien craft. I <clears throat> hazard a guess as to the amount of power it would have been generating to propel that ship. I'd watch your fire down there. That equipment could be highly unstable. Well, I'm gonna try to watch my fire down there. How about that? with uh, the Xbox controller and I find on occasion that I can't always get it to line up with where I think it's going to where it actually ends up going and that's kind of annoying Foreman's gonna watch our outside flank. If anybody tries to come around behind us, hey, he's gonna be watching that direction. Well, that was quick. flight computer could prove to be extremely useful in our own research. 
Please take great care in returning it to the base in one piece. Oh, well, I'm trying to. Uh, I'm, I'm not. I'm not looking to cause any problems here, guys. Moving to position. On Overwatch. Heading to that location. Roger. I've got my eyes on. <laughs> We should make every attempt to capture one of those creatures using the arc thrower. There doesn't seem to be much left when we attack outright. They're trying to flank us! Heading to that location. Sweet. This new artifact as soon as you return. Another one down. But sadly, Tony was lost. He will be remembered on tomorrow's podcast. I'm sorry, Big Papa. This wasn't meant to be this time around. Is that all that's left of the specimen we attempted to capture? Yes. I believe we may have found the source of the strange readings we picked up when we first encountered it. What is it, Doctor? We're not exactly sure. It's organic in nature, yet highly magnetized, and it appears to resonate very faintly within a specific electromagnetic spectrum. It is currently unclear how or... Perhaps that's because this is outside your field of expertise, Doctor. If what you're saying is true, this object is an antenna, one that's receiving a signal. That signal? Can we trace it? No. At least not yet. We would first need to determine its encryption algorithm. My team can handle that. In that case, I will focus on constructing an interface between this object and our global communications array, which we'll need to trace the signal. Then it looks like researching this crystal should be our top priority. I agree. Boy, everybody ended up wounded on that one, didn't they? KIA with Tony, and then three out of the four that went are all wounded. <laughs> the 
Let's see. So, first off, need to hire a soldier. That eats up a lot of money right there, but it's worth it. So I'm going to give out a cross. For him kicking some butt. Ah, former. He had some good shots, although I almost should take the metal away just for the fact that he couldn't hit something that was right next to him. But I'll forgive him for that because he did come up with two or three critical shots. <clears throat> actually, I probably should have given it to Alan just because he's the one that actually went in there and had to get right next to the bad guy to make things happen. Reaper rounds. We can build the foundry and the Phoenix cannon and the flashbang grenade. Commander, the genetics lab is now prepped and fully stocked. We can begin genetic modification of our soldiers on your order. Commander, the genetics lab is now prepped and fully stocked. We can begin genetic modification of our Who would I like to? Your order. This facility will be the nerve center of our genetic modification program. Our soldiers will receive entirely new capabilities, making them more effective on the battlefield than ever before. As we improve our understanding of alien genetics, the range of available modifications will expand. The meld substance has been enormously valuable in advancing our theories on genetic modification. So far, we've been limited to the augmentation of existing human organs. With the latest autopsy results, we now have the option of incorporating alien physiology into our genetic enhancement programs. It may be asking too much of our soldiers. They will be even more capable on the battlefield. I'll have the selected volunteer sent to surgical prep immediately. Once the genetic modification is complete, I will notify you directly. Well, I can't send them somebody. <coughs> That's why meld is expen is important. So now I really do need to pay attention to that. All right, uh, I'm probably gonna call it a night here shortly. We will see if we can get to the outsider shard. Um, but if not, forgive me on that one. Uh, engineering. I want to build. Point, a foundry would certainly help us further hone the effectiveness of these new weapons and equipment. I'd recommend we get started on construction sooner rather than later. Okay. Gotta keep those satellites cranking. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Okay, so what Additional are we waiting for? Required. Eleven days. Ugh. 
11 days. All right, so we had our first gene modification. I made myself a test candidate for this. Of a new kind of warfare. Our soldiers were already humanity's best warriors. Oh yeah, look at you. Now, as we learn from our fallen enemies, we can make their strengths our own. I think this is where we end up there triangulating the base. Tactical. Do we have an eagle over these coordinates? Recon satellite Delta Two is just coming into line of sight now, sir. Coming on screen. Nothing. No. That's impossible. I know it's there. Switch to thermal. Hello. Give me subsurface. Gotcha. Re establish comms with all the mill on the ground. Think of what we might find once we get inside that facility. Imagine what they might be doing down there. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Okay, we found it. Now, how do we get inside? I thought you'd never ask. Involved in creating these crystals, an organic machine capable of complex communications. We could spend years studying this technology. I can only imagine what the aliens might be doing in an underground facility. I've got a hunch as to how we might get into that facility. Just give the word, and I'll begin manufacturing the key immediately. The potential applications for this sort of tech would have been limitless if the aliens had only come in peace. I'd like to build at least one of those. Uh, anything we can sell? No. cash it's not huge but you know you use what you can so I'm pretty much ready to assault this base so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna call on a night tonight And then we will pick it up tomorrow and we will do the enemy base assault. Uh, basically, doing the assault will allow me to 
Make sure that I have all of the soldiers I need healthy. Because I want to have my best people on that mission, obviously. You don't want to have just anybody off the street. Um, you want to get the best people you can involved. And, uh, oops. Gotta get... get uh, Tony in here the second I treat these like little rogu roguelikes you know you got it give him some continuing lineage from his predecessor Tony has facial hair. I think he's more of a deep. And I had him in the cool helmet last time, in the beret and the glasses, so I'm gonna stick with that. Because why wouldn't I? So there you go. Now, <clears throat> the way I see it is, I'm going to send somebody. Well, Cancel. I'll wait till after the assault. Yeah, I'm gonna wait till after the assault. <clears throat> so I'm probably gonna give myself at least four days. I'm gonna try to give myself four days. And with the four days, that'll give me time to get some the beam weapon research. It'll also give me time to get the uh, rest of the team healthy. And we're gonna go with a six man insert because that's why i bought that that spot so i have this the the second person insert or the sixth person so i have a six-man squad we're gonna go into the base hard <clears throat> and it's going to be a very slow and long mission so i don't want to do it right now because it's a mission that can take you easily 40 minutes if you play like i do we're going to have to slow crawl it. There's, there's going to be lots of chrysalids. Uh, so it's going to be a grind to get through there. And you're playing on their turf. And not knowing the layout, I mean, it can be troublesome. So we'll save that for tomorrow. Uh, we'll come back. Also, because it's Friday night, I'll have a little more time to uh, focus on it. But uh, with that in mind... Uh, make sure to visit uh, us on the web, ggsgamer.com. You can also find us on Facebook, ggsgamer. Or, I'm sorry, facebookcom ggsgamer. You can find us on Twitter at ggsgamer. Uh, if you're into audio podcasts that um, talk about terrible things, you can listen to the podcast that I host with my fellow uh, compatriots, Joe Foreman and Tony Sadowski, who we watched die tonight. Unfortunately, may he rest in peace much love uh but yeah he came back as 
Tokusatowski the second. Um, we'll see where his incarnation takes him this time. But yeah, you can listen to uh, You Like the Worst Stuff. Uh, basically a podcast where we talk about things that we like, but most people probably think are terrible. Um, and you can find that uh, links on Twitter for that at uh, The Worst Podcast. And also over the next couple of weeks, we're going to have a couple of free games to give away. So uh, I think one of them is uh, Max Payne 3 for on Steam, and I think we have uh, Velvet, Velvet Assassin. Yes, I know it's not a very good game, but do you complain when it's free? Uh, and we're going to have a copy of Deadly Premonition uh, Director's Cut to give away. So we'll be watching out in the next few weeks for that. And uh, make sure you, you know, on that podcast, subscribe and like. Make sure you are uh, favoriting and liking and uh, following us on Twitter and all those things too for GGS Gamer and, and the worst stuff because you know occasionally we give stuff away through there um, and it just helps us you know the more hits we can get the better content we can get you and the more coverage we can give you and the better stuff we can do you know so uh, spiel aside I'm done with my role sorry you know you got to do these things uh but with that in mind gg uh this is joseph haygood joe haygood signing off uh until tomorrow night when we do the next one remember base assault on the next one so that's gonna be that's gonna be the challenging one that's the one where you're probably gonna hear me getting a little out of control because uh it's it's gonna be a tough one i believe so that good night